Hi dancers. Today we are going to do some floor bar. Now floor bar is really fantastic for finding proper alignment and posture once you stand up and do a bar or do a center. You will notice that when you're lying on the floor, you can't cheat. When we stand at the bar, it's very easy for us to not be in proper alignment. We might be arching, we might be tucking under, our hips might not be square. But when you're sitting or lying on the floor, it's very hard to cheat these things because you will notice when your hips are not even, when they are not square, and that will help you later on once you get up and do a bar. I think floor bar is a great thing to do as part of your warm up before a dance class. I think it's a great thing to add as a supplement to after a dance class. And if you just need something to get moving, this is a great thing to do. While you're doing this, I want you to keep be mindful of a few things. One, you should be engaging your upper body the entire time. Even though you're lying on the floor, is not an excuse to just be flop there on the floor. No, your legs are working and your upper body is working just as much. So when I tell you to make sure that you're engaging your upper body, you should be pressing your shoulders into the floor and keeping your ribs in and your stomach engaged, all right? Your arms are not just gonna be floppy, they are pressing into the floor as well, all right? The other thing to make sure is that your legs should always be working super, super hard. They should be fully straight. When your feet are pointed, they should be as pointed as they can be. That will really give you the most benefit from these exercises. So let's get started. You're gonna start by sitting up. You're gonna sit nice and tall with your arms by your sides. All right, you're gonna point your feet and you're gonna extend your legs out in front of you. Your legs are nice and straight, feet are pointed, back is engaged. You're gonna bring your legs up and down, flex and point, really flex, really point. And again, and down, flex and point. One more time, and out, flex and point. Now we're gonna add on. You're gonna come up. You're gonna rotate your legs open, really engaging the backs of your legs, rotating through. Bring them up and down, flex and point. Again, up, open, close, down, flex and point. Now we're gonna add on again. And up, open. You're gonna really think of rotating all of these around as you extend out, legs are straight, bring it up, turn it in, and down, flex and point. Again, up and open. Down, down, straighten the legs, bring them up, turn it in, down, flex and point. Now we're gonna add them again, coming up. Open the legs, rotating the heels up towards the ceiling. You're gonna open to a small second position. And legs are straight, flex, point, bring the legs up and in. Bring them down and up, two, turn it in and down. Again, up and two, turn it out and two, open the legs second. Two, flex and point. Bring them up and two, bring them down. Two, and up, turn it in and down, flex and point. Shake it out a little bit. We're gonna lie down and do the same thing on the floor. All right, bring the legs down. They're gonna be fully pointed. Legs are gonna be engaged. You're gonna have your arms by your side, but you're gonna be pressing down onto your shoulders. Bring the legs up and down. Flex and point. Bring them up. Core is engaged and down. Flex and point. Bring them up. Turn it out. 
turn it in and down flex and point again up turn it out you should not be just letting the legs flop you should be really rotating the legs bring them up and down flex and point adding on and open really rotate the legs all the way down all the way up turn it in and down flex and point come up and open bring the legs down bring the legs up turn it in and down flex and point adding on up and two open the legs really keep the heels high as we open to a second position flex point bring the legs up bring the legs down you should be engaging the legs and up turn it in and down flex and point again up and two open the legs bring the leg to second flex and point and up and two all the way down really rotating those legs turn it in and down flex and point now we're going to rotate over onto our stomachs do the same thing again now while you're doing this i want you to pay attention that your legs are not just resting this is nice and comfy right it's not helping us though when you have your leg feet pointed your legs should be fully engaged whether that means that they are off the ground or not it doesn't matter but they are fully stretched when i tell you to flex your feet your knees are not like this they are pushing up all right you're gonna rest your head on your on your hands, all right? So, you will do that, but I'm not gonna do that so that you can hear me, all right? You're gonna bend the legs up, really squeezing through your, your butt and the backs of your legs. And down, flex and point. Again, and down, flex and point. In. Rotate the legs open. You should really be squeezing through your bottom. It should be nice and firm. You're not just letting your legs flop here. All right. Close it up and down. Flex and point. Again. Open. Bring it up and down. Flex and point. Adding on and open. All the way down all the way up close and down flex and point repeat and open all the way down squeezing the backs of legs bring it up and two close and two down engage the legs as you flex and down make sure you're still pressing your shoulders down away from your ears adding on again and up open open the legs to second really try to get those heels as close to the floor as you possibly can flex and point bring it in bring it down all the way bring it up rotate it in and down flex and point again open open the legs to second Heels towards the floor, flex and point. Bend the legs up. Bring them all the way down. Bring them all the way up back in. Turn it in and down, flex and point. Good dancers. Those are your plies, all right? You can do more reps. I think it'd be great if you can work your way up to four reps of each Exercise before you add on, and then every add on gets four reps as well. But even just two is great. You're probably gonna start feeling a burning right here. That is all right, that is good. That means that you're really working your feet because when you do floor bar, you are really, really having the time to accentuate through your feet, to really work on those legs, work on that turnout. By the end of this, I want right here to be super tired. Your feet are gonna be tired. Your glutes are gonna be tired. And your hamstrings are gonna be tired. 
you're really gonna feel this, but it's so, so good for you. All right, now this is just a good little extra warm up so you can really feel how your legs are gonna, should feel. All right, so you're gonna lie down. Now I want you to again push into the floor, arms are by your side. You're gonna rotate your legs to a little first position. Now you're gonna press into your heels and you're gonna push your pelvis just the tiniest bit off the floor. I don't wanna see this because this is not helping us, this is just hurting our back. All right, just off the floor. You're just gonna engage the backs of your leg, use those rotating muscles and just press off the floor ever so slightly. See, I'm barely off the floor, all right? Maybe just a couple inches. Hold and lower making sure that you're not arching as you do this. You're gonna be tucking under, just ever so slightly. Push it up, hold, two, three, four, five, down, six, seven, eight, and up, two, three, four, five, and down, two, three, four, five, again, up, two, three, four, five, are your shoulders pressing down away from your ears and pressing into the floor? And down, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, four, five, and down, six, seven, eight. You're gonna cross your legs over into a little susu. Same thing, pressing up. Make sure your hips are nice and even. I don't wanna see one leg up or one down. All right, nice and even. And down. Six, seven, eight. Wrap the legs around, pressing up. Two, three, four, five, and down. Six, seven, eight. Let's switch the legs. Up, two, three, four, five, and down. Six, seven, eight. And again. Two, three, four, five, and down. Six, seven, eight. Shake the legs out. So I don't know if you're feeling that, but I know I am. The whole backs of my legs are burning now, all right? That's what you're aiming for. The backs of your legs and your glutes are working so hard in that. If you're not feeling it, you probably need to be thinking of wrapping your legs around and engaging the backs of your legs a little more, really pressing those heels and calves into the floor. This is even a great thing that you can do just as a warm up anytime. All right, now it is time to move on to some tendus. We're going to do tendus on our backs, our sides, and our stomachs. All right, so starting on your back, all we're going to be doing is we're going to be in a little first position and we're going to go tendu front and close, plie the legs up and down. Again, four sets, four sets on the left leg. Then we're gonna switch to our side. And from there, we're gonna do tendu side and close, a little coupe and down. Side close, four sets, other side, four sets of that. Then we'll do on our stomach, we'll go back to the version we do on our back. We go tendu back and close, plie and down. Four sets, four sets, let's go. Really, again, pressing these shoulders into the floor. If your legs are in a little first position, turned out, the backs of your legs are engaged. For added challenge, you can keep your arms in a second position or above your head in a fifth position. But for it to keep it a little easier, you can press your arms into the floor. All right, tendu front and close, plie and down. When you plie, just a note, I don't wanna see this. Your legs, your feet are not going to be sickled at all. They are going to be lifting up towards the ceiling and rotating here. All right, let's go again. Tendu front and close, plie and close. Third set and down, plie and close. The backs of your legs should be engaged. Tendu and down, plie and straight. The backs of my legs are not relaxed. I am not just sitting here on the floor comfortably. I am squeezing my glutes and wrapping my legs open. Other leg and close. 
tendu, sorry, plie, and straighten. Tendu, and close. Plie, and straighten. Third set, and close. Plie, and straighten. Last time, and close. Plie, and straighten. Rotate over to your side. You're gonna rest your hand, your head, sorry, right on top of your arm. And then you're gonna put this leg, this arm right in front of your belly button, pressing into the floor. You're going to lift your leg just off the floor, rotate, lower down. You're gonna go tendu side and down. Really squeeze the legs together. Coupe and down. Again, and down. Coupe and down. Tendu and close. Coupe and down. Last time, and close. Coupe and down. So I don't know if you could tell, but during that, my leg underneath, my standing leg, is working super hard. It is straight, it is rotating, and that is giving me the balance combined with using my core so I don't just fall right over. All right, let's do the other side. Resting your head on your, on your arm, lift legs, turn them out, and lower. Tendu and close. Coupe and down. Tendu and down. Coupe and close. Tendu, squeeze the legs together as you close. And coupe and down. Last time, and down. Coupe and down. For an extra challenge during these, you can keep your leg lifted off. This will just really work the staying leg even more. All right, let's try to our stomachs. Again, you're gonna really rotate your legs. You will be resting your forehead on your hands. I will do this so you can actually hear me. You're gonna straighten those legs. And you're going to tendu back. It's gonna be super low because you can't cheat with this. When we stand at the bar, you can lift that hip up just a little bit so that you open it. Here, we can't do that. So you're gonna really press though that hip into the floor as you lift up and lower, plie and straight. Again, and down, plie and straight. Three, down, plie and straight. Fourth time, down, plie and straight. Other leg, tendu and down, plie and straight, tendu, and down, plie, and straight. Third set, plie, and straight. Fourth set, plie, and straight. Let's take our hands, let's press back into child's pose, and just really relax all those muscles real fast. Good job. All right. Now, moving on, two bandus, all right? So we're gonna do this on our back, again. And all you're gonna be doing is you're gonna just have your legs turned out. We're gonna cross it over to a little susu. You're gonna flex your standing leg as you bring your working leg to a coupe and bring it front and extend both legs. Again, and front. Third set, really bringing this this leg back and tendu. And now you're gonna lower this leg slowly and really turn it out as you squeeze the legs together. Lift the legs off and switch, lower it down. Left leg, coupe. Keeping the heel on this working leg up so we don't see this. Keep it strong. And fondue well. Think about what we talk about in class of you make sure that the fondue legs straight at the same time, not one leg and then the other. Together. And fondue. And together. Fondue. Last time. Squeeze the legs, squeeze it together, squeeze it together, squeeze it together, rotating the legs the whole way down. Good. Relax those legs. Now we're going to go into some Rana Jumps. This one, you need to be super careful that you are bracing your core. Otherwise, this is what I'm gonna see. You're gonna bring your legs up really nice, and then you're just gonna flop over like this. And that's not what we wanna see. We wanna be strong and place the whole time. So you're gonna go to first position. 
You're gonna engage the backs of your legs. You're gonna tondu front. You're gonna go to second position, not all the way to the floor, as far as you can hold only. Bring it back and down. Again, up. I don't need to go to the floor, because otherwise you're gonna have your hips completely open. You're gonna stay about here, where you can hold it, and down. Two more steps on this leg, and up. Open, and close. Lower down, last time, and side, and up. Lower it down. Now we're gonna go into the left leg, and up. Engage the leg, rotating the standing leg as you go to the side will really help you. And up, and down. If you're not pressing into your arms and your shoulders, you're gonna have a lot harder time, so make sure you're doing that. Open, bring it front and down. Again, and open, really engaging those legs. Up, down, last time. Open it side, bring it up, close. Shake out those legs, they're working really hard. All right, now we're gonna go into double pace. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be in a nice susu and on your back, and you're going to double pay your leg up, bring it to the front, Passe and close. Again, and up, passe down, last time. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your leg off, just off the floor, your standing leg, and you're gonna engage your core, and you're gonna flip to the side. All right, this is a pretty advanced thing, so if you don't wanna do that, you can just finish your double peg, all right? But go for it if you want to, and you're really gonna feel how much you have to work your core. Then from the side, you're gonna close, and you're gonna do the same thing to the side. Really brace yourself with this arm that's gonna be pressing against the floor. Three double pays. The last time, you're going to keep your core engaged, and you're gonna rotate back to the front. What's gonna be the common thing is from here, you're just gonna flop down. We don't want that. We want to really hold it and, and really control it. All right, let's give it a go. Lying down, your legs are gonna be in a little susu. Legs are engaged, arms are pushing down. You're gonna go passe, double peg, just to 90 degrees, passe and down. Passe and up, down to close. Passe, this is the third time. You're gonna bring the arms to fifth above your head. You're gonna lift this leg off, you're gonna lift your head, and you're gonna flip. Passe and down. Now to this side. We're gonna go, we're gonna keep our legs just off the floor. We're gonna go passe and double peg. Passe, close it back. Passe and double peg. Passe, close it front. Passe, double peg. Bring the arms to fifth. Lift your head so that you're square. Control it as you slowly rotate front. Bring the head down, passe, close, lower the legs down. Whew, it's a nice workout, right? All right, switch around to the other side and we'll do the other leg. All right, pressing into the floor, all right? Engage the legs, passe, double peg, just as high as you can control it, passe and down. Passe, double peg, passe, and down. Now remember, we're not just sitting here having a nice little rest. We're really engaging the legs. Passe. Double peg. This is the third time. Bring the arms to fifth above your head. Bring your leg just off the floor. Bring your head up and flip. Passe and fifth. Legs are off the floor. Passe. Double peg. Passe. Close it back. Passe. Double peg. Passe, close it front. Third time, double pay. Bring the arms up and slowly rotate to the back. Passe down and relax the legs. All right. All right, dancers, that is the floor bar for today. These exercises will really help you to build strong, elongated muscles that are really well coordinated 
and really able to help you in all of your dancing. Not just ballet, not just point, in all of it because those strong muscles will serve you no matter what you're doing. I hope you enjoy and keep on dancing.